addition to the Elder Scrolls 4 because it had like huge huge amount of okay game mechanics that were, that weren't used in any other case and goblins were anywhere important part of the game merchant it is good to see a friendly face Remain calm, Lady Sawera. Perhaps stand guard, Sir Klauser. This new act requires focus. Okay, this is the bard again. I hope we don't have a burning badger soon. I can't talk to him. So he's just practice here. Okay, I don't think that should grow like that. So the, you can't enter, it's just a house which grows stuff. <laughs> okay. High Isle, uh, the nor northern part was pretty full of the greenery. Let's let's make a check. Yeah, this is one one sided greenery. So the leaves are always like turn turn their side to towards me. So this is why this is pretty this was pretty uh, cheap engine, pretty pretty light, worked in, in almost any any con computer back back in the day. But today um, there's lots of uh, DirectX 11 and other other additions. Res uh, res uh, reset kind of uh, uh, ray tracing, so probably not as light anymore, but used to be. Please help! It's all destroyed. Did you feel it, traveler? The ground shook so hard that what remained of our poor village crumbled around me. I could still hear my neighbors cry as the roof fell on her. <laughs> Sorry, it's just. All too much. Ostomir. It used to be lovely. Then that horrid jungle sprang out of nowhere and drove us out. We wanted to reclaim our homes, but I don't see that happening now. Not with so many dead. Oh, I do hope that nice wood elf found more survivors. Baragon. Okay, he's he here. came to Ostomir looking for his friend. Greenspeaker Sorolin, I believe he said her name was. After the disaster, he didn't hesitate to help. You should join him. He's looking for survivors and could use a hand. You'll find Baragon on the road outside Ostomir, just to the north of the village. He built a small camp for the survivors. Tell him I sent you. And any aid you can give will be appreciated, Traveler. It's rare to find much kindness in this world. I watched our little village grow from a few tents to actual structures. It was a beautiful place. And then the forest suddenly grew up around us, trees and vegetation bursting through the paved streets and displacing buildings. We fled in terror. No, the forest sprang up months ago. Some of us decided to return, try to reclaim our village from this unnatural jungle. It was going well, too. Then the ground started to shake and what was left of Ostomir started falling down around us. I... I'm not sure. I was hurt by debris. Then I just started walking. I stopped here to rest. Then you stopped by. 
Ostomir truly belongs to this jungle now. But maybe you can help any survivors? You and that nice Baragon. I wonder if this is because Green Pact is in effect now in this area. I pray you aren't another rogue come to take what's left. Oh, Julianus be praised. A friendly face. It seems the roads are far more dangerous than I was led to believe. We stopped to enjoy the breeze when a crazed brigand came out of nowhere and robbed us. One masked brigand and a pack of horrid beasts she commanded. Frogatha did everything she could to protect me, bless her heart. But the thief made off with my entire dowry. Now I have a napkin ring to present to my future bride. She disappeared into the nearby firelight cave. Adventurer. If you can recover my four dowry bundles, I promise to make it worth your while. Every scrap of silk and muddy jewel could save me from becoming the laughing stock of Skingrad. It took years to negotiate a fair dowry for the Verdullus family's eldest daughter. To come this close to a life of leisure, only for some flea-infested scoundrel to dash my dreams? Please, search Firelight for my dowry. I beg of you. They are a very powerful mercantile family, and any misstep could spell disaster for my marriage proposal. It's been a grueling year of negotiations between our families. Would you believe I haven't even met my bride-to-be? Yeah, I've never met your bride. Absurd, I know, but it's almost more romantic. I don't the believe it. <laughs> forces of commerce leaving us marooned on the shores of love. We've written each other, of course, and beneath the polite formalities, I do believe a moral nurtures a spark of love for me. Amaro. That's hardly a reason not to get married. To be meet someone my named built Amaro. An empire despite hating each other. Of course, without my dowry, none of this matters. Not to press, but even a small portion returned could save my marriage. It was horrible being surrounded by snarling beasts and the brigand. Wearing a ghastly mask, I might add, started barking orders at us. It was either I surrender the dowry or forfeit my life. By magic or might, I'm unsure, but yes, they seemed to follow her every command. Once the beasts were between us and the dowry, she swooped in and stole caskets and coffers filled with gems, jewelry, spices, and silks. I need them back. I suppose we need to Please, help him. Find what you can of my dowry, and I'll compensate. I was hired to deal with road thieves and pickpockets. I'm no beast tamer. Although after this, I may try to pick the skill up. It was awfully impressive. I'll leave the cave delving to you, stranger. Uh -huh. You are going to find Master Grandeur's stolen goods? Wonderful. If you make quick work of it, I should be able to have his evening clothes properly pressed in time for dinner in Skingrad. Okay. So it's somewhere up up here. I actually didn't find one one dungeon. Yeah, this feels like a Valen wood. Yeah, we are on the right right track. Not another player here. Betrothed hire someone to retrieve his dowry. Ah, so quaint. You should be warned. My beasts don't like losing their toys, and they do love his shiny gifts. Uh. Tread carefully, adventurer. I've had my fill of impish fools with childish dreams. Okay. So she stole her own dowry. Uh, well, I, I guess. My character is a dark elf, so she could actually admire. Yeah. 
death hopper. One, one thing is clearly worse in this game than in an original, well, original, World of Warcraft classic, because lower level uh, enemies do attack you, despite your level. And it was, at the start, it was like uh, they uh, did not attack. But if, with the one Tamriel change and the fact that now every content is scaled to, up to your level uh, they all became hostile no because they are always scaled to your level Te technically Al although if you play the startup areas like like here startup areas here here you, you can notice that well it's it's not they are not really difficult to handle a DLC enemies give a bit more grief but more joy can be found in a marriage fueled by coin yeah uh, okay Them if you feel so inclined, but be warned, the beasts of firelight are ravenous. Okay, see, let's just take the dowry. I suppose the scam is well, it, it, it works just as long as the one who has been, has been scammed doesn't find some, some bonehead to delve into a deep dark dungeon with the sword and, and take the dowry back. My character is agreeing to most atrocious things. Okay, so she has tarigars and stuff. What use have I for colors of gold and silver? Contracts be damned. The Theriker grow restless. We have that in common. It's time we left these woods behind. I think she lo loses, loses her beasts this way. Another player's doing it <laughs> work for us. Well, let's let's take that. I don't know. This has been like so long trip with the with the Atlascos online. But these woods have changed. The land doesn't sing to me anymore. Return the dowry to Grander if you wish. I'm leaving all this nonsense behind. So, I was saying... Uh, I have been playing this since 2014. So, yeah, that's, that's a long time to play, even if they're like a couple of years break. Uh, I'm, I'm still like pretty burned out about, about this, this, uh, this game and series and especially the community. I don't, I don't, yeah, damn, damn the community. I, I don't like it, Espe especially the role playing community, which is, that's really poor. So uh, yeah, not not li uh, really having much much of things that keep me playing this this game. Other than few friends that play this game, and of course the fact that these are pretty good quality. Uh, 
quality, quality DLCs or expansions. Okay, I have found this. <laughs> Blight luck. And in a few, very few occasions I noticed that developers had had any idea of supporting the role-playing community. Social tools were missing at the start and that that's they are still actually <laughs> missing. So <laughs> so yeah. Not good. Because a lack of social social tools actually changes the game. Like in a World of Warcraft classic, where do you get the experience boost? From the taverns. Do you have a house? No, you can't buy the house in any versions of the of the old classic. So the idea is that when players do not have their own house, they all gather around and log in and log out in the tavern. So they are kind of in the se same location and can meet up each other. So it actually adds to the so social aspects of the game. So there's... Oh, I, I'm, I'm going to take a picture. I'm going to take a picture when, when the player, <laughs> player leaves. So the uh, social aspect of the game is designed. It's not accident and there's like no full proof plan, plan. But if you don't give, don't plan it, how the players are going to meet meet themselves, uh, meet each other, if, if you have an MMO, that's going to be a recipe of disaster. So some, some idea should, should be like, what's the interaction between players? for example. And then there's, there were these features that didn't actually ma ma quite make sense. Like there's a pole uh, outside of the dungeon, which is a totem kind of thing in a World of Warcraft classic, which you ta tap and then you are kind of informing that you are want wanting to join the, uh, join the group. That they really didn't get used. <laughs> so players used all the other social tools too. I'm certain Grander will wonder whether he was inadequate, unworthy of my love. And he'd be right. I've tamed beasts and monsters. I've no need for a mouse. Okay. So she needs a bit, bit more rough. I've taken husband. what I need. Enough gold to start a new life. Far away from here. You should do the same. Okay. Okay, they are waiting boss to Okay, here here it is. Just in the right time. Shash of the Veld. Symmetry of the Veld. Damage and critical and status effect. Do we... Corridor is block blocked. 
Ah, uh, it, it, it's here again. That was fastest time I ever heard, saw the boss respawning. No, it's not. <laughs> you can squeeze through. I'm not here to fight. My family drama puts you in danger. I owe you some answers if you want them. A proper introduction, then. I am a moral Verdellis, Grander's Brad to be. You can tell him it was me. I'm certain my betrayal will make for quite the waterworks. I harbor no ill will toward the man. Only what he represents. This contract. It's been years since they've taken any interest in my needs. Why would I care for theirs? They've made it plainly clear I wasn't the daughter they prayed for. Too quick to fight, too tough to bend. And still they tried to force me into shape. This cave was once a sanctuary from my parents. Before this wild magic twisted it into something cruel. It was my second home. Filled with beasts with softer smiles than the ones that raised me. Yes, and the creatures that lived within it. Driven wild and feral. I did what I could to calm them, tend to their fear. I had hoped to take them with me. To return the favor and save them from this mess. But I acted too late. Uh, I killed them all. <laughs> I'm not Probably. sure. And even if I did, I wouldn't tell Grander's hired aid. Just know it will be far away from here. Beyond the highlands and the overgrowth. Beyond even the reach of my family's wealth. Grander. Okay, so I can actually select once again how this story ends. Grander deserves to know the truth. He's one of countless pampered nobles that look at these marvelous newly grown woods and see only a profit to be made they have no love for its beauty and nor do i for their greed so forgive me for not considering what he deserves tell him what you will i'm certain the scandal won't take long to spread the verdellis family's wild child finally making for the hills i only wish i'd done it sooner and that I could see my mother's face when she realizes what's happened. So basically, her parents tried to control her by marrying her, her to That's noble. A pity. Tell Grander I have a sister. A sweet little thing eager for love. But warn him no dowry. Do it right. Court her. They need to decide for themselves, not our parents. Farewell, adventurer. Perhaps one day we'll cross paths again. I wonder. Too bad the expansions don't lift any any variables from each other, so there's no no like continuing of the story. Well, well there's some continuing of the stories, but you don't really. Um, You've returned in one piece. I hope you gave that brigand what you Your your choices are not really validated. You're back? And with my dowry in tow. This is still plenty to impress the Verdullis' eldest daughter and secure her hand. I could kiss you, adventurer. Though I suppose I should save that for my bride to be. What's this now? Has word already spread of my ineptitude? My abject failure? Has the Verdullis family already dragged my name through the coals? Please, kind-hearted and dashing adventurer, end your silence and tell me! The brigand who robbed you was um, uh, um, uh, real, very dullish. My? Amoral? What would drive her to steal her own dowry? Surely there must be some misunderstanding. These barbaric acts are far beneath her, let alone the Verdullis family name. At least it explains the warm rush I felt from her commands. Uh. Run away. <laughs> I see. It's strange I find myself so hurt by someone I never met. Who am I to begrudge someone for wanting greener pastures? I hope she finds what she's looking for. I'll be fine. 
Mother taught us Namarset men to persevere. There are plenty of wolves in it then. Well, I don't appreciate the chosen imagery. I get your meaning. Yes. Though the long road to betrothal is a lonely path, I'll gladly walk it. Thank you, traveler. You've earned this gold as well as my deep respect. Okay, then nice. We gonna got the ring. I, I think I like the idea that I get the ring, uh, ring, uh, set rings from as a, as a reward for the, from the quests. I wonder what's to become of this dowry. I could save it for my next bride, or perhaps I could invest it in some sort of capital venture. Father rarely loosens the purse strings for my ideas, so this is the perfect time to prove myself. You should know Marilyn mentions he had a sister. Yes. Of course, a delightful woman. In fact, she was the one who often made the ride out to our lumber yards to collect my letters to a moral. Are you implying that I should marry her instead? What a novel idea. I'll admit to some relief that our arranged marriage is over. I have always been a bit of a romantic, and this merger by way of marriage was less than ideal. Perhaps I will. A proper courtship. If she agrees, of course. Okay. Good news. The adventurer retrieved my dowry. We can continue on to Skingrad as planned. And I promise you both a pint of ale when we get there. Such a relief. And I'll be able to press and sort out your clothing in time for any balls or soirees. How generous. A whole drink after nearly losing an arm to a Theraker. <laughs> She's not happy. <sighs> It will be good to get back to Skingrad. I enjoy the outdoors as much as the next person. But this armor starts to chafe when I've been in the heat for too long. Uh, that's probably true. Well done. I expect we'll be on our way soon. Marriage troubles aside, I'm quite looking forward to our stay in Skingrad. I hope to make it as relaxing as I can for Master Grandeur. That was actually, actually, that was a quest that um, made sense with gems to find from from the writing of this game. Rest easy, friend. You there, let's help these people. You there. Didn't get enough of me while fighting the recollection in Grotwood, hmm? No time to catch up, though, friend. I have injured people here and more still in the village of Ostomir. How about we get them out safely before the ground shakes again? So basically, I said that uh, the DLC no, uh, expansion doesn't lift variables from other other uh, expansions, but the um, prequel uh, adventure lead leading they they mentioned mentioned it a couple times. So yeah, that's a variable at least. Have you Green played speaker it? Speaker Sorolin sent me a letter, asked me to meet her here. After I arrived, the ground rumbled like an angry timber mammoth. Oh, buildings collapsed, trapping people. When the new forest appeared, it damaged the village. This may end it. Apparently, a few months back, what was once rolling hills and rich Colovian farmland was suddenly engulfed by this great forest. Look, help me rescue more Ostomir survivors. Then we can find Sorolen. I can toss you some coin for your efforts. Inside the village, listen for any calls for help. People could be buried under rubble or trapped inside collapsed buildings. Just watch out for the strange beasts. They appeared after the ground shook. And keep an eye out for Greenspeaker Sorolen. Uh, this, this feels like a quest I have played like several times over. It's a typical Colovian village, or rather, it was. Known for fishing and trade. As I understand it, when this forest sprang up a few months ago, it caused massive damage and drove the villagers away. They were starting to return when this happened. Very. And this new forest, it's like Valen would jump the river and spread here. I remember when Ostomir was founded. Someone else thought it was a prelude to invasion. But a fishing settlement posed no threats and cooler heads prevailed. That's one of the things I'm looking into. Something caused this forest to grow rapidly. So I suspect some sort of magic was involved. From the growth pattern, 
I'd guess that this stretch of land along the river was where the new growth originated. That's... I'd rather not speculate. Wood Elf magic can speed and direct growth, but not on this scale. And not so wild and untamed that it destroys whole villages. Still, I plan to look into all that. Later, after we help these people. Questions are all well and good, but we have people to save. Anything else you want to know? Otherwise, let's get on with the rescuing, friend. No clue at all. Her letter was quite short. All it said was she learned something in Ostomir. She said it was important, and I needed to see it for myself. She wants to share whatever she discovered with me. That's all I know. I don't know. Last I heard, she was part of the Wood Elf settlement in Vashabar. That isn't too far from here. That's what the Wood Elves who settled here after the forest appeared call their city. It's north of here. Uh, two, two months anyway, time to she found come her to city. Ostomir for the Aeliad ruins. There are plenty nearby that might interest her, but that's just a guess. That's how we met. I love all sorts of history while she studies Aeliads. The culture and history of those ancient elves fascinate her. My own interests were purely practical. Stuff that could help me back in my adventuring days. The finest wielders of nature magic in Tamriel. Green speakers wiggle their fingers and a tree bends its shape into a home. They make it possible for wood elves to construct cities without harming the forest. I'm worried about her too, friend. But Sorolin is no delicate bellflower. She's shown me time and again that she's perfectly capable of defending herself. Let's help the other survivors, and then see if we can pick up her trail. I've tried to stay retired from adventuring, but recent events just pulled me back in. Something about the recollection makes my ears burn. That happens when I sense danger. Eventually, I'll go back to my scribe duties. Until the next adventure... Okay, how's, how's, her, how's his loony, loony sister Evelyn Sarparo? Evelyn's traveling around Tamriel, leading the life of a wandering hero. She writes now and then to tell me stories of her adventures. I'm proud of who she's become. If I hear from her, I'll let her know I saw you. There will be time to catch up after we help some people. We could kick back with some sun's dusk ale and swap stories. What else did you want to know? Keep your ears open. Follow any shouts for help. Okay, that's um, slight, slightly overgrown. Rescue villagers. Help! I can't get out! The door's blocked! Clear the rubble! Thank the eight. I thought that was my grave. Wild bird. Okay, so he's he's casting trapping wise. What can I do? Okay, that's a help help him. For some reason the start starting point is, is left. And this is not the one only only quest that has st start start up point is, is visible. I I suppose there's a, like some quality of uh, some some bugs slash features that are are still uh, present and uh, this has been like several several uh, expansions but then then again I, I kind of understand the, some of them because inside the village listen for 
because uh, during the uh, uh, pandemic Skyvillagers villager southwest okay During, during the pandemic, it Zenimax workers work from home, so I don't wonder at all, all, all if they're like, they were some bugs in, in the black the region stuff. There has been like small, small issues. Go join your family. Sorelen, you're alive. Baragon. Oh, who's your friend? I had no idea the ground would shake so violently when I asked Baragon to meet me here. Nature is nothing if not unpredictable. I also didn't expect him to bring a guest. So, who are you, friend of Baragon? Helping people in dangerous situations sounds just like Baragon. Can't fault him for accepting help. I asked him to join me in Ostomir because I found something amazing. Miraculous even. He needs to see it for himself. No, no. The only way Baragon can understand this discovery is by experiencing it himself. How about we all see it together? It's down in the alien ruins nearby. I'll show you both. It truly is remarkable. Baragon's an old friend. He'll appreciate my discovery. I hope you do as well. The ruins are to the southeast of the village. Meet me outside the entrance when you finish helping survivors. I can't wait for Baragon to see what I found. Generally, this game has a modest amount of text, or rather, uh, thank thankfully modest amount of text. But sometimes the dialogue doesn't carry the uh, story forward as well as it could. Green speakers are a vital part of any Bosma community, and I cherish my role. Shaping the green is an art. It involves merging my voice with the song of nature and guiding how things grow. We don't control nature. Instead, we have a conversation. Mm, three, would, would you be kind and grow as a house or something? Did Baragon tell you that? Yeah, that's no, kind of ordinary <laughs> green speaking can't manipulate something as large as this new forest. Yeah. And certainly not as fast as it appeared. Beyond that, I'd rather not speculate. It goes against my training as a researcher. We grew up together. He started on a path of warrior and hunter while I trained as a green speaker. He had an interest in scholarly pursuits as well and we bonded over shared studies. He became a good friend. Ah. In addition to being a green speaker, I study aliens and the history of the wild elves for the University of Gwylam. The nearby ruins called out to me the moment I noticed them. And what I discovered... Uh, no, no, you really must see it. Why wouldn't I be? All Bosma can trace their lineage directly to the ancient aliens. Well, almost all. This history surprises many people and can be controversial. But my research definitively shows that we're the inheritors of that legacy. A disgusting bigotry toward Bosma pervades scholars from other cultures. To them, we're not worthy of such a noble ancestry. But plainly, they're wrong. You should read my book. It contains all the evidence needed to persuade any doubter. These creatures only exist in the Dawnwood. Kill me. Overgrown house would be like pretty cool. But there's like nothing nothing to be found. 
Although I haven't checked, I think there's some houses in, in uh, town, but... It hurts so much, sister. I know, little bug. Please, help me move this. Thank you. I'm never coming back here. Sorolin wants to meet at the ruins east of here. Let's go. Okay, no, no going to the upstairs. Some, something grows in the attic. Okay, what's next? Find the ruins. Can't escape stranglers. All too well, so. Okay, what we got? Companion's eye staff increases critical stri strike rate. Okay. Speaker Sorolin. Wait, a body on the ground. They're wearing recollection gear. Grab that note. Uh, by the order of Keeper Virigoth. Sounds evil. Uh, as the epic center of the original Wildburn ritual, the green speakers assert as new Wildburn seeds would sprout out an Ostomir. Search for the nearby alien ruins for the major Wildburn seed. Find and recover a seed as quickly as possible. Who is the text then below Ostomir? Message is gripping me on different handwriting. Beragon and a friend. To run for obvious reasons, turn me down in the ruins. I think you'll like what I have to show you. Wild burn seed? I'm not sure what that could be, but the handwriting at the bottom, that's Sorolin's. Okay, so we can get down from here and check this one. Okay. This house is missing something. Slightly dark here. Okay, so can we get up there? I, I've been pretty good at glitching, th glitching through things and seeing the okay le location behind the stages. The, if if there's a ruins, there's like house with couple fallen walls. And that's that's a ruin, or it's just they don't have a meaning. And clearly, the visual visuals have been like there has been like a effort of improving visuals in this uh, expansion.
There they go. That's a spirit core or something. <laughs> Recollection. Some traps. Nothing more. Oh, that's a closed. Oh, soul game. Okay, that's how you get got them. Gilmancer. Move it. Yeah, alien ruin. Good technically sneak past Capatul, catapult cabbage. Me. The handwriting at the bottom of the note is definitely Sorolin's. Running into ruins alone is just like her. But I didn't expect the recollection to be here. She... I've never heard of a seed, but the Wood Elves of Vashabar use wild burn to refer to the strange blight along the edge of the new forest. Worry about that later. Let's focus on finding... Okay, <laughs> this is the right room. Do you feel it, Baragon? The grandeur of our history! You're right. These ruins are incredible. Do you feel it? The power of the Aeliads pervades this place. Millennia separate us from the Heartland High Elves, but I can feel their legacy flowing through my blood. It pains me to see their glory buried in these ruins. This was all for Baragon's benefit. You're just an unintended spectator. I brought Baragon here to remind him of his alien heritage. The recollection remembers their past. This land belonged to the aliens, 
and we Bosma are their rightful heirs. Not at all, but some of their beliefs match my own. All that aside, I wanted to show Baragon what I found. A new type of seed. It's similar to what we green speakers use to grow and shape tree villages, but different. It thrums with unique potential. Bug shells! Surprise ruined! I wanted to show him the wild burn seed. Talk to him. Discuss the recollection, both the good points and the bad. I suppose he'll want to take the seed before the recollection does. I suggest you hurry. They're close. The wild burn seed grows deep in the ruins. I suggest we split up. I'll lead the recollection on a merry chase while you and Baragon find the seed. And don't worry, I'm sure we'll meet up along the way. And Baragon, remember your history. Th th that's actually an interesting point that bad guys might have a point. This style of architecture dates back to the late Marithic era. It combines majesty with practicality, so probably a place for Daedra worship and training. These aliens seem to have been particularly fond of someone they called the Prince of Paths. As I said, I plan to keep some of their attention on me instead of you. After that, well, I'm very stealthy. I have no doubt I can elude their patrols. And if I do get into trouble, I'm sure you and Baragon will come to my rescue. That's how it works, Sorolen. The new replaces the old. I thought I could convince you. Ah! Uh. We'll burn seed together. What? Sorolen, come back. Okay, she's she's been dead. These ruins are pretty amazing. An old conversation we used to have. Maybe you'd call it an argument. We need to learn from history, but it doesn't necessarily define us. I'm no more an alien just because they might have been my ancestors than a red guard is a Yokudin. Exactly what Sorolin suggests. We need to find it and keep it out of the hands of the recollection. If it's somehow connected to the creation of this new forest and the area of devastation, we can't let them get a hold of it. Okay, so it is running, running marathon towards the uh, sea. Somebody has been here. You're with the recollection? Cracked acorns, what are you thinking? Follow her! How? <laughs> Talk to me! I can't let you take that seed! I won't fight you, Baragon. There are other seeds than these. I'll go after her. Grab the seed and follow after me! Argonian is right in the right place and shoots from far, which is great. I'll, I'll do them. Okay, now, now you came here. But it was going so well. Catch up with Peragon. It's interesting dungeon, by the way. 
the fact that we are not going like a subway line <laughs> from A to B and then to C. But we are going to kind of go go past. Okay. Okay, so now, now we should go out, out of there. Didn't show me the right right way to go. Oh right, <laughs> she's pretty fast to run. <laughs> Runs pretty fast. The recollection seeks justice, Baragon, for all Bosma. Spilled blood and disgraced families aren't justice. We've been friends forever. Why won't the recollection destroyed this village! Who knows what other harm the rapid growth caused? I thought you'd understand! I thought you had vision! <laughs> okay. No, Sterling, wait! Oh no. Couldn't catch her. I've known Sorolin for almost my whole life. I cared about her, considered her a friend, perhaps more. Why didn't I see that she had been taken in by the recollection? Maybe I could have done something. Blight, this hurts. She always claimed alien land belonged to the Wood Elves, but that was purely academic before. Sounds like the recollection promised to make it real. Could be why they wanted the Wildburn seed. Speaking of which, did you get it? I've never seen a seed like this before. It feels wrong. You're working with Leramil, right? She needs to know what we discovered here. Meet us back in Skingrad. I have a townhouse there. Oh, and take this. You more than deserve it for helping me. So, okay, recollection, fang, poison damage, sharpened, well that can't be changed, uh, blocking an attack reduces your damage taken, okay, so this is a, yeah, this, this is a tank set. Sure my lifelong friend joined a violent cult, but you and I actually did some real good today. We saved people in Ostamir and kept this seed away from the recollection. When you're ready, meet Laramil and me at my townhouse in Skingrad. I'm not sure. They certainly spout rhetoric that matches many of her closely held beliefs. I thought those beliefs were simply musings. But the recollection seeks to put them into deadly practice. Be sure, when next we meet, I plan to ask her why. I have little experience with either, so any speculation is merely a guess. If Ostamir was truly the epicenter of the new forest growth, the land there could simply be unstable. Or perhaps Ifrei shook the ground to warn us and get our attention. 